Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. It has been a long time since we've played this game, and I've missed it a lot. This is seriously one of my favorite games that I've ever played on the channel. But I was waiting to play it again because we have a new spirit. They're adding a few more. As you remember, the last one was the sister. But this time, it's Beverly, who is apparently, from what I understand, Stella's old neighbor. And she's like an owl. So this time around, we're going to get her. And we're going to spend a few episodes focusing on her and taking care of her. Once we're done with her, we're going to go into fall. And, you know, we're, well, well, we'll wait until fall for the next one. And then we'll come back and meet those. So let's just hop right into it. What have we got? A letter from Beverly. Yes! Gotta remember the controls. Hi there, sweet pea! When you have a chance, can you drop by my apartment in Oxbury? I have a few questions I need to ask you. Bev. Nice. Oh yeah, there she is! Do you have anything new to say? Oh no, we can't talk to you still. Alright. Yep. Let us... Head to Oxbury. Oh, what's that? That's new. Music? You don't like my music, really? You really want me to stop my run for music? No, 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 no. It was but a prank! Good one! <laughs> Alright, we're here. So, sheep! Hey, you! We're the Dice Boys! Don't forget the name. Oh, well, I helped you guys before. How? Why would I forget you? I gave your CDs out. I, I gave people your mixtapes. It was fire. Oh, is that Bev? Bev! Oh, oh! Can you give me a hand, neighbor? I seem to have lost my keys again. They can't be that far. If I don't find them quickly, my ice cream will melt. Then we'll have quite the mess. Oh, where are those keys? Look at you, you're not even helping. Well... You did listen to me ramble on. That's something, Sweet Pea. You look like you've seen a ghost. Are you okay? Well, IRL, no, but yes. That's too bad. I really wanted to take care of you. That's what neighbors are for, dear. I'd invite you inside, but no keys means no couch. That couch is so comfortable. The pillows are just perfectly lived in. More like stepped on, really. I remember Henry and Sarah jumping up and down on that thing. Once at our old house, Henry fell and hit his head on that glass table. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. There was blood everywhere. On the drive to the hospital, he asked if he was going to die. I couldn't help it, I just started laughing. No, Pumpkin, it's going to be fine. I wish I still lived in that house. I had to sell it when David passed away. Plus, the kids were all living out of town by then. It was too big for little old me. And that lawn! I didn't want to break a sweat every Sunday afternoon mowing the grass. The house, did you know we had it designed? By a professional architect. He was quite the sharp dresser. Always dressed in black with a slick looking mustache. I had a bit of a friendly crush on him. I know, I know. I'm sure if I ran into him he wouldn't recognize me. Or maybe he would. He did mention he had a photographic memory. You know what? Maybe I should ring him up. Say something like, Dear Anthony, I would very much like to have the original plans for my old house. I lost them in the recent move and would like to have a copy. Could I come over and pick them up? Wait a minute! Even better, you should go see him! See if he's still as gorgeous as in my dreams. If you come back with bad news, that'll save me a trip. His office is somewhere in Hummingbird. I don't know the address. You remember, I lost my purse with my address book in my mother's brooch. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That brooch was all she talked about. Well, don't just stand there. Go ask in Hummingbird. With that smile of yours, there's no stopping you. Alright, I got it. I'm on my way. This person sounds oddly familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. Let's see where this takes us. It's your old neighbor. Well, her ice cream is definitely going to melt now, so she might just want to eat it. While we go to Hummingbird. Oh, 220, 167. Huh. Huh? Oh, I've already been there. 
I guess we'll go anyway? Hmm. I don't see anything. No, I don't. I don't see nothing. I guess. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. <laughs> it was there a second ago, right? I'm not the only one who saw that. Eh. Let's go to Hummingbird. I just got an achievement decked out. What's that one? Ah, build all houses and stations at least once on the boat. Lit. Sometimes in this game, especially in a game as beautiful as this, it's nice to just sit and enjoy the scenery and pet your kitty cat. Time over, go! You? Nope. <gasps> you! What? You woke me up. I was taking a rejuvenating mom mom momentary nap. Yes, my name is Anthony. I'm indeed a very successful architect. What, might I add, impeccable taste. What can I do for you? Beverly. I've had so many clients over the years. I can't possibly remember them all. Then again, I've had so many drinks as well, <laughs> and I can remember them all. Some I enjoyed, some I despised. C'est la vie. Not sure what that means, but I always thought it was a great way to end a conversation. Oh, you're still here. That usually ends things pretty quickly. <laughs> as a world-renowned architect, I've had an incredible life. If I stopped to think about every single client, I'd go mad. It's more about the experience than the people, the journey and all that. What? You're starting to annoy me. Your presence in that awful hat. Boy, I will kick your ass right now. The Renaissance called. They need that hat back. And you're still here. If you won't go, it's time for a harmless prank. You know what? I do remember Beverly. Even without a last name or any other meaning the full beat details. Bravo! Stellar job refreshing my memory. You must have a gift. I can visualize her house now. In my mind. Quick, write this down. It was an incredibly tall house. Very narrow. It had a massive clock. Loud enough to wake the whole neighborhood. Also, it's all coming back to me. There was hay inside. She wanted a real barn feel to her house. Human beings, animals, such. And it was quite the unique project. Well then, that's all I could remember. The mind is a mysterious bedfellow. Well, I'm going to shut my eyes and take another small nap. Z, Z. Beverly's farmhouse. All right, let's get away from this asshole. <laughs> I was obnoxious, and not just because of the voice I was giving him. <laughs> what does this farmhouse need? Oh, that's it? We'll put it all the way up high. Yay! What's next? Head to Oxbury. Okay. You did what? What a treat! I can't wait to see how you replicated my old house. It won't be filled with memories, but we'll make some new ones. Oh, sweet pea. You weren't white. You went above and beyond. More importantly, how was it? How was Anthony? Did he still have that spark? That certain je ne sais quoi? Oh, you know what? Don't tell me. I'd rather see him for myself. Your words don't won't do him justice. You remember my friend from back home, Carol. The one with four kids? The one who had that car accident? Carol. She would always talk about her crushes. She would go on and on about these Greek gods. And then, in person, they were all shaped like celery and had bad posture. They were nothing to write home about. Carol had the wrong taste in men. Her husband was not the cat she claimed he was. Enough about Carol and her poor choices. We should go see Anthony. 
I'll bring you along to chaperone this little escapade. Oh, sh man, I hope that Beverly likes tea because she's sure given me a lot of it. Oh, we get to see her change. We're going to have a bowl of oh, I'm so excited. I love to see them change. Sweet Pea, stay back. Down here. Oh, she's so cute. Wow, that was something else. I haven't felt this alive in years. Before we go for a little adventure, I should take a look at the house. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. Just a thought. Oh, look at how cute she is. She's so little. Oh, I love her. Can I hug you? Can I hug you? Oh, <laughs> that was nice. Oh, I love it. She's so cute. Oh, I love her. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I beat her here. Oh, it's like a cuckoo clock. I didn't realize. Oh my god, Anthony. Why, man? Why? It's straight up a cuckoo clock. Hopefully she doesn't kill us. Stella! What is this? This isn't my old house. This is a dump. Have you ever seen a house before? It looks like a kid's drawing of a house. It looks like a dog made it. Is this a joke, Stella? If it is, it's not a good one. I'm mortified that you would want me to live in this. That you think this was my home, and my children's, and my husband's. We lived in a cozy little farmhouse. I know this was years before I moved to the city and you and I met, but... This is just a giant clock with some leftover hay inside. I... I... I know you tried your best, but this is a mistake. I can't stay here. I can't go on with you, especially with that as my house. And on top of that, I can't believe Anthony gave you the wrong plans. I need to go back to Oxbury. Let's go. Aww, she's mad at us. Be mad at Anthony, he's the one that did it. Let's go kick his ass. Let's do it right now, let's kick his ass. Sweet Pea, I hope you'll consider making it up to me. My old home was very important. To make sure there isn't more confusion, here is what it should look like. We lived on a farm. There was a nature all around us. We had dogs and goats running around everywhere. It was a quaint little farmhouse. It was run down. It had character. It was big enough for the whole family. Better? That should be clear as day. I hope it'll be right this time. And chin up, sweet pea. It's only a setback. As you know, I'm allowed to be bossy because I'm very old. Well, and you're also dead. But... Anyway, we're going to continue this next time. So far, I like Beverly a lot. She's like that gossipy old lady, you know, who like talks a lot, but you listen anyway because she's really nice to you, but only you specifically. And I can't wait to see more from her. And hopefully we'll go and jump Anthony and kick his ass. But, you know, that's just my dream. It might not be hers, but we'll find out next time. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Check out Spirit Fair. It is amazing. And I'm so excited for the new update and for the fall one when it comes out. Remember to take care of yourselves and have a good day.